Come on! I don't think you guys heard me. Let me hear you, idiots! No, he's not. No, he's not. You see, because all week, all week I've heard how Bateman's gonna kill me. But you know what? Because it's true. Bateman. <laughs> Shut up, Wendy! I'm starting to win these guys over over here. Bateman! Everybody's saying Bateman! that I should be afraid of Bateman. But you know what? I don't care what they think. Bateman should be afraid of me. Bateman should be afraid of me because I helped Ray become national champion last week. And tonight? Funny, Ray needed your help. Shut up. Tonight, I'm gonna beat the goddamn man. And I'm gonna put his head on my mantle. Because Eddie Roar is going big game hunting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MPW Come Together. My name is Piki Santino, joined by Mike Wexler. And Mike Wexler, what a way to start the show tonight. We got Eddie Roar going one on one with the goddamn man, Tyler Bateman. Listen, Pinky, as much as I respect both competitors' games, could this be potentially the most dangerous match that Eddie Roar has been a part of, considering that Tyler Bateman could potentially kill him here tonight? Oh, there, there's absolutely no question. This is the biggest test of Eddie Roar's career. And, per, Eddie's gonna kill and, and to be perfectly honest, yes, Eddie has been Eddie's contacting me you. all week, thinking, I, acting like I'm picking on him for, for putting him in this match. He does not see this is opportunity because if he can come out with the win here, imagine what that where that puts Eddie Roar. But you know what? Tyler Bateman is not gonna let anyone make a name off of him. Absolutely. And we'll give you the chance. There's still a bit of a teacher-student thing going on, so I don't need you no more. I don't need you no more. I have Ray. I don't need you. I, I don't know if this is a good decision, Pinky. It, it's definitely not. Bateman was offering, you know, the respect of the fact that Bateman helped bring Eddie Roar into this business. He was one of those teachers. But it looks like Eddie Roar is just turning his back. Baby Ray, they're chanting. Is that? I don't think they have a good comparison to that. I don't think so. I don't, I don't trust this sure at all, Pinky. Aww. Suck it, Bateman! Oh. Um. Oh. Hey, he's getting ready. Oh. Back him up, Victor. What would you call that, Pinky? Mind games. This is what I call it. Because Bateman is one, never one to be outdone when it comes to mind games. And one thing Eddie Roar has to remember is that you really don't win against Tyler Bateman. You survive against Tyler Bateman. And we see it right here, arm wrench applied. Oh my god! I'm gonna take over and look at the wrist control. Absolutely, just taking control of Eddie Roar's left wrist. Cutting off that second. Oh, look at this, look at this. A handful of hair by Eddie Roar pulls Bateman all the way into the corner. And referee Victor Quintus has to go ahead and break them up. And right now, Eddie Roar's trying to show that confidence, but again, I respect that confidence. I, ex like, I respect it, but against Tyler Bateman. He's a dangerous man, Pinky. I don't know. This is this is definitely one of the most dangerous tacks to do. Collar and elbow tie up right here. And look at that. Eddie Ward being jerked. Oh, look at this. Oh. These two bulls, many of them in the middle. I gotta give it to Eddie Ward at this point, not not backing down. I know, and I again. I oh, but grabbing against the hair again. And showing the disrespect right there. Oh, here, here comes Bateman. Oh, he, you know, he grabbed no. a little bit of hair, but what's wait, good for the up. goose is good for the gander. Come up. Absolutely. Come up, come wait, what's going on over here? Come up. Um, <laughs> Once again, talk about those mind games. <laughs> putting himself into a dominant position over Eddie Roar. And, well, I would say Roar. Hey, your fault, you idiot. What are you getting mad at me for? Why is he mad at me? What do I do? I want the championship! He called you an idiot. It's okay, he's gonna get knocked out pretty soon. <laughs> he's not wrong, Eddie. But 
regardless of Carlo and will tie up once again. And again, Eddie Roar with that confidence that trying to match the strength of the goddamn man. Uh, 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 you know, for everyone listening at home, I do got I gotta try my best to remain impartial <laughs> in this contest. Oh, and a huge it's kinda hard when someone's calling me. Oh, oh, an idiot, though. I mean, yeah, but oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! And the first plan of shots has been served up for the night, and it's ah! served up hot and heavy. Can we agree, Pinky, that that has to be the best chop we've seen tonight thus far? Huh? Oh, well, the, uh, until that one happened. I yeah. I mean, more lethal, more aggressive. That is Tyler Bateman, but... Oh, did he just slap him? I agree with Liz. I mean, he just made him that mad. Oh, and take... Oh, oh my, my God. God! He just got thrown up face first. Woof. woof. Right? He said woof. Or bark. But what? how do you manage to make everything uncool? But he said it. And I, I don't know. It was so cool when he did it. And then he did it with her. And, uh. But regardless, right now, Tyler Bateman taking control of this match. As we discuss whooping and barking, but Eddie Roar coming back. And again, I respect that confidence of Eddie Roar trying to condemn himself against the goddamn man. But oh, I don't know if he can hang with that aggression, Pinky. Big shot to the med session. Trading strikes with Tyler Bateman is not something I would recommend on doing. Do it again. Oh my god. No. He's not asking for one more time. No. And resetting the refs 10 count. No. I don't like where this is going, Pinky. Not at all. I gotta admit, I gotta do it. Oh! Oh! Big shot right to the jaw. Oh! Need in the midsection. Wait, oh no, this does not look good. Get out the way! Inside the ring, Eddie. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, this jerk. Uh, but wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Eddie, look behind you, fam. What? What? Oh, my God. No. Not sure. Oh! I really wish there was a mercy rule. At least to say, hey, no more. Eddie Roy, let's take the L together. No, nah, he's, got, he's got this. Right here, there. Eddie's been good. You, you sure about that? I don't know. That handprint looks pretty good. Oh, going for a suplex. Reverses. Oh! Wait a minute. Tyler Bateman just got shoved spine first into that big, the, 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 the corner post. And I tell you before, and I'll say it again, we have square posts here in MPW with those jagged edges. Absolutely, and Eddie Roar trying to get a 10 count right here. I mean, a victory is a victory in a sense. Referee had a count of eight, not, oh, but Tyler Bateman back, but Eddie Roar taking control. And right now, Again, as much as this is the most dangerous opponent of Eddie Roar's career, it's definitely one of the biggest. It would be a huge victory for him to get a victory over the goddamn man, Tyler Bateman, but I don't know. Oh, my Ooh. God. You know what this is? I call it, well, Bateman helped train Eddie Roar. Right. So this is almost like his graduation exam right here. Can he pass the test? Oh, huge Euro. Oh, this does not look good, Pinky. On the top rope. Oh, wait a minute. Are they going for a yeah. superplex? Oh, oh no, no. He's... No! Oh! He's a superplex by Eddie Roar! This is Eddie's opportunity to get back into this match, Pinky. The question is, can, can he do it? Can he capitalize on this opportunity? He's got the goddamn man down. And, oh, got a little bit of a camel clutch applied. Come on, Eddie. Three! But you have to keep close to the ropes. Vic, referee Victor Quintus has to go ahead and make that break. Absolutely. And Eddie Roar taunting to the crowd right now, but uh, it looks like Tyler Bateman's getting up. I don't like where this is going. Oh, look at the disrespect shown, Picky. This is a mistake. Oh! I hate to admit it, but. Who's the goddamn man? Bateman is the goddamn For a second, he. He did something very well. Oh. It would just keep it Bateman down, but oh. Oh. oh! He just took too much time and let Bateman get back to his feet. Eddie, I would respect you more if you just throw in the towel at this point. Just stay down. But regardless right now, 
Tyler Bateman. Oh! It feels like oh, more than. Oh, oh! Not backing oh, down. The, oh. And now Tyler Bateman showing that aggression. Pinky, it feels like every chop that Tyler Bateman gives, it gets worse and worse and worse. Well, most definitely, if you go ahead and look at the welts oh, that are already on the chest of Eddie Roar, the, the, the thicker they get those welts, the more it's going to hurt every time he chops them right back on him. Oh, no. This does not look good right here. Grabbing the hair, going to the camera. Shout out to Nick. Right there. Oh, nice. oh, big right hand right across the chin of Eddie Roar. Yeah, that's a good thumbnail picture. Oh. Cover. And again, only a two count. Eddie Roar still in this match, Pinky. Somehow, someway, he's sticking in there. Right here. Oh. Those punches feeling like shotgun shots to the face and just slapping him across the, the back of the head. Oh no, this does not look good. Oh, big time forearm shot by Tyler Bateman. Just lethal. Again, ball. Oh, look at that. Going right back after that back that was thrown into the corner post not too long ago. His head butts to the back by Eddie Roar, trying to gain position. German suplex, maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh! oh. Backbreaker oh. takes out Tyler Bateman. At least momentarily, of course. Oh, right here, Eddie Roar. Oh, oh. And dropping all that weight on that lower back. Yeah. And here's the camel clutch position. Oh, Again, that could take out the circulation, that could take out the back. But again, Bateman's still in this, and the MPW faithful going behind Tyler Bateman. And, and look at this. Oh! And, and I gotta admit, smart move, but I, every time I try to compliment this guy, he does something that makes me change my mind. He's doing a very good job of keeping Bateman down, but he has to stay on him. I don't know. Oh, as we see an overhand punch right there by Eddie Roar. It seems to be the target right now for Eddie Roar. I think it has to be that back. Let's get this train going. Wait, what? Train? What train? Oh, off the ropes. Oh! Cover. One, two. Big time jumping frog splash for a two count. I, I gotta say, that was a lot of momentum that had to hurt. Absolutely. But again, as you can see, Tyler Bateman's growing even more angry than before. Oh, wait, yeah, see, Eddie kind of made the mistake right there. Oh! Is that chop number six at this point? I mean, just ouch. And look at that, just with just one, oh! One single strike. Bateman takes control. Oh, oh he's, he, he's taking off the shirt right now. You know he means business. Oh! oh. Hey, look at this. Invited him. Invited him. Oh. This is your test, Roar. C Come go on. get him. I don't think that was a good decision, Pinky. Not by a long shot. I was saying one more. One more. Roar, give it all you got. Give it all you got, because this might be the last shot you get. Oh! oh. Take to the midsection. And looking straight at Pinky's Adios, head. Amigo. Wait, what? Yeah. No. He's going for the Ray Rosas' yeah. Adios Amigo. Oh, oh, big forearm shot. Yeah. Oh, but Eddie Roar's still up, Pinky. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, ducks the clothesline. Oh. Big time German suplex by Eddie Roar. That's Tyler Bateman on the top of his head. Eddie Roar has the advantage right now. He could get back into this match. Off the ropes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Looking for that back suplex. No. Dropping those big elbows across the neck of Tyler Bateman. And he, he's elbowing for his life right now. Giving it all he's got. Oh! Big time lariat to the back of the head. I think Eddie's out right now. He, th there's no sign of life. And Tyler Bateman. Oh! Cover. One, 
two. Ooh, but only a two count, says Victor Quintes. Uh, that had to be pure instinct at this point. I don't know. But right now, Tyler. Oh, kick to the midsection by Eddie Roar. And what, what is he going to do to capitalize? Look at this. Suplex. Oh, suplex. And... Oh, Falcon's arrow. And he got all of the kick. Get it going. One, two. Oh, only a two count. I know Eddie Roar has that power within him, but it takes a lot more to take down the goddamn man. But look at Eddie Roar. Oh, look at this. He's setting up for something big. This is his shot. This is your shot, Eddie. Make through with it. Oh, going for the zigzag. No. Oh, death, death from above. One, two, three. The goddamn man prevails. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MPW Arena. Welcome to youtube.com forward slash Millennium Pro Wrestling as we all come together to MPW's Come To Together and talk about coming together. There are four athletes coming together in this one match, Fatal 4-Way, for the number one contention spot for the MPW world title currently held by Dustin Daniels. My name is Chris Claus, sitting next to General Manager Pinky Santino. And this match, if there's any match on tonight's card with implications up the wazoo, it's this one. Oh yeah, anyone can take it. Anyone can be the brand new. Oh wait a minute, oh my God. We got four of the best in there right now. Deemed by the MPW Board of Directors, the championship committee, as far as who should be the number one contender. So right now, right under Dustin Daniels, these are the top four according to the Board of Directors. And to be perfectly honest, any of these guys that, could, that come away with the win is gonna be a huge challenge for Dustin Daniels because these guys are monsters, class. All of them. Speaking of that, J2 going after Shaw, Beetle. For Leo Pinedo. It is just a melee in there. Listen to these people. And ladies and gentlemen, this one is one fall to a finish. You do not gotta get pinned to lose this one. Yeah, you can get oh. you, you don't even have to be involved with the pinfall, and you can lose your shot at being the number one contender. Uh oh, look at this. Two former champions right here. I didn't forget about what you did my nose. Uh-oh. I'm right here. That wasn't me, but I'm right. Looking like they're wanting, wanting to make it personal. Wait a minute. Both men for, oh, he's oh, biting. He's biting him. He's biting him like a chalupa. As if Shaw didn't eat enough already today. Oh, come on. Out of the ring. Goes both Canedo and J2 Mattioli. Beetle oh. now. We got Shaw with all his weight. Oh, oh no. no. Did you see that? Beetle just bounced off the floor here. I'm surprised that floor didn't cave in. Meanwhile, the action on the other side. All four men on the outside of the ring. And ladies and gentlemen, one thing you got to remember, uh, on, on the four-way, there is no, no count outs. There is no disqualification. Not at all. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a war. Not again, no. Canedo again with Super Beetle on the floor. This is like a car wreck out here. And, and just like you said, Klaus, it is on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen that aren't here, yeah, there's a there's a small layer of padding, but under that padding, it's just solid wood floor. Yeah, it's solid. Oh. oh, face first, Canado into that steel ring post. The tide's turned at least for Super Beetle. And Robin Shaw going right after J2 Montioli. Oh, big double back chop. Canedo. Not minding his P's and Q's. J2 into the ring post. There is action everywhere. They call that a little bit of a receipt, Klaus. Do they ever? Wait a minute, Shaw now. Taking care of just about anybody and everybody. What is and up with that? Does Canedo? Look at oh, wait this a minute, now. look at this. What in the world? Where the hell did Canado come from? 
I was gonna say, does Canedo have a sign on him that says chop me for some reason? This is not a match. This is an outright brawl between all four of these men who are showing just how important a win is in this contest. Almost got the, Oh! Big kick, just like a Louisville slugger across the chest. Look at that slap right there across the face of Robin Shaw. Tasting the taste out of his mouth. And Robin Shaw doesn't like the taste coming out of his mouth. Look at this now, Shaw scooping up. Leo Canedo. No, Canedo on his feet, look out! Shaw. Oh my no. god! Oh no! One, two! He kicked out, but that just shows you right there, too big, too heavy, too strong. I, I was surprised he almost had him, to be perfectly honest. But the size of Shaw, good luck. Wait a minute, Shaw with ease, however. Canedo, though. Right in the eyes. Yeah, we went out to the Oh, it's J2! Taking advantage! Speedo! Big time, Hornbutt! And all four competitors are down! All four men are down, but waiting in the wings. Only one of them will get a shot at the MPW title. Currently held by new champion Dustin Daniels, capturing the title at the Anniversary Spectacular last week against Danny Devine. And now we are marching in to a new era here in MPW Millennium Pro Wrestling. Oh, look at this big time clothesline by Super Mito, followed by another one. That's the line, and big time inverted atomic drop, slam air takeover. And now, basement super kick finds the mark. Canedo, though, still on his feet. Beetle, springboard. He just got caught with the big time cutter. Could this be a one, two? J2 and Mattioli breaks it up. J2 ended it at a two count. And this contest, this number one contenders, Fatal 4-Way continues here at MPW's Come Two Together. Chris Kloss, Pinky Santino ringside. Oh, look at this, Canedo floating over. Oh, big time right hand. Two, two of them, yeah, absolutely. To J2. Oh, oh he's fighting, fighting him. him. Oh, well, that's one way to get him off. He's going to have to go to the orthodontist after that one. Look out. German suplex. J2 exhibiting his strength, his dominance. Talk about strength and dominance. Look at this. Going for that kingmaker. Oh, big time wheelbarrow kick by Robin Shaw. And nobody does it better, more powerfully than Robin Shaw. Canedo now mustering his way back into the ring. Trying to take advantage. No. Lays on his feet, however. Wait a minute. But don't forget about J2 on the outside. Meanwhile, Super Beetle and Shaw. He got all of it. The, I think he calls that the... The beat this I'm not sure what he does, but look at this. Breaker, I don't know. Double clothesline! Like a missile coming out! And onto the floor, and there go! Canedo and J2 standing in Seguri! Robin Shaw winded! Oh, wait a minute, look at it! Oh, he caught he him! him. He hit him with his own move! Bug juice, one, two! Are you kidding? Robin Shaw is now the number one contender for the title! December 2016, I walked into a dingy strip mall in Moore Park, California, called the Millennium Wrestling Academy. I was a dumb kid with lots of dreams of being a champion and being the man. <laughs> and you know what? A few months later, a small, scrawny little kid named Dustin Daniels walked in. And Dustin, you had all the potential in the world. You had everything going for you. Bright lights, shiny, everything. <laughs> And you know what, you worked hard. I'm not gonna say you didn't, but no one worked harder than me. I put everything into this. And now I'm 400 matches in. <laughs> and you know what, I've gotten some opportunities at the MPW Championship, but I've come short. I've been the national champion. I've been the, the tag team champions. It's, it's all fine and dandy, but I've never won the big one. <sighs> and that changes next week. <sighs> Because at the end of the day, your Cinderella story comes to an end because the closing bell is ringing and stocks will rise with the Enterprise.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MPW Presents Come Together. My name is Mike Wexler, alongside the legendary GM of MPW, Pinky Santino. And what a treat we have. Alec Tomas making his MPW debut against, I gotta be honest, the very meaty Latino meat, Jake oh. Cabrera. Debut? Debut in MPW. Yeah, debut. First time Yeah. I remember my first time at MPW. Let me welcome you. Oh, a handshake, Pinky. A little sign of respect. Do you think you should trust this? I don't know. It all depends. Well. Oh, there we go. Sports with. Oh! That didn't last long. Oh, no, you shouldn't have trusted it. No, I don't think so either. And right now, Che Cabrera taking control of this match early against, again, the debuting Alec Tomas. And I know he's been a newcomer here in the wrestling scene. Great guy coming out of Santino Brothers. What more do you have to say about Alec Tomas, Pinky Santino? Oh, he's showing great promise. And he's constantly searching for his first, I, I, I believe, his first big time major championship. And he's come close many times <laughs> with moves like that. Huge Herc and Rana ducks the clothesline. Connor Roll misses. Oh, catches it. Shaker. Oh, it's a Gary. He actually had. He, he actually took Chuck Cabrera to the limit in the past for the Santino Brothers Championship. And oh, oh we're gonna see oh. if he can get it done this time. Absolutely. I mean, Che Cabrera is not an easy opponent to take on, especially, oh, over the top rope right that, especially after what Che Cabrera did to Busio. Oh, most definitely. That match against Busio, that was a rough one. Oh, I, I could tell. And Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, into the turnbuckle. That post pinky, I mean, that has to be ruthless. Almost definitely. And he went in peck first. That's how Che makes his money. I hope his peck is okay. I hope he can still flex it. Uh, hopefully. I mean, he has the strength advantage going into this. Wait a minute. Oh! Are you going to say the, in the first play to chops for the night, or is that not the first play to chops? We've had many plays to chops for the Okay. say it over and over and over again. I mean, it was a good chop. Wait a minute. Oh! I mean, very apropos that Alec Tomas is doing these knife edge chops, but Che has more lethal chops, in my opinion. You know. Well, I, I believe we're going to see him uh, shortly enough because if Santino's guys are known for one thing, it's laying in those chops and those big clubs. Absolutely, and Che can boom! Chop to the throat right there, and Latino B with the hot shot. Oh. Again. Closed on him on the top rope right after that oh. double throat chop. And again, we've known Che Cabrera for so long, Pinky, here in MPW. He's aggressive. He's ruthless when it comes to his offensive game oh. here. And we see it right there with an overhand to the back. Yeah, I talked about those big chests, those, those big back clubs that are so very much well known. Oh, oh here we go. Oh! Massive chop to the chest of Alan Tomas. One, two, only a two count. And again, you talk about those chops, they are like shotguns to the chest. I mean, Alec Tomas barely made it out of that one. And we see right now, Che Cabrera just laying in the choke right now, the foot choke, cutting off the circulation of Alec Tomas. Yeah, most definitely, Victor Quintus had to go ahead and break that up. And right now, Cabrera. Oh, but Alec Tomas fighting back. We've known him for so long at Santino's for having that fighting spirit, Pinky Santino. Oh, most definitely. He, he definitely lays it in every time. And he tries his best every single time. That's the one thing I can never take away from Alec Tomas. Oh, Che ducks it. Big oh. time snap power slap goes for the cover. One, two. Only a two count again. And you know what I got to say? Alec Tomas. He, he's gonna be something special. He, on, he's, he's just at the very border of, of breaking out here in the in the S Southern California scene. He just needs that one more thing. Can he find that one more thing tonight here at MPW's Come Together? Absolutely. And how big of a victory this would be for Alex to get a win over again a most dominating competitor of Che Cabrera here in MPW. Well, yes, Che Cabrera is very dominated, not only here in MPW, but in all of Southern California. Oh! 
along with his tag team partner, Bad Dude Tito, as one half of the Wolves Adams. Absolutely. In tag team action and in singles, in singles action, Che Cabrera is dominant. And we see it right here with the chops, with the overhand, ah, again, to the back. Yeah, most definitely. If, you know, you go to create a wrestler and you want the archetype for a wrestler, that's Che Cabrera right there. Absolutely. The Latino meet proving once again, week after week here in MPW, why he is one of the most dominating competitors here, not just MPW, but again, as you had stated before, in SoCal as well. And right now, Che Cabrera. Let me welcome you the right way. Walking the right way. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, oh my God. God. That might be padding outside, Pinky, but still, that is hard floor. Oh, most definitely. That is just a thin layer of padding uh, on top of wooden floor. And it looks like Che Cabrera is uh, just going to be comfortable with taking that count out victory. Victor Quince is at a count of nine. And Alec gets in, barely at the counter nine. Che Cabrera going ahead and blaming Victor Quintus for possibly a slow count. Is it not slow? I, I, I don't, he's asking if it was, was slow to me, but I don't think it was. Victor Quintus knows exactly what he's doing. I agree with you right there, Pinky Santino. Yeah! And oh, going for a super, wait a minute! Oh, small package one! Two. Ooh, only a two count right there. Yeah. Oh! oh Big kick to the face of Latino Miche Cabrera, oh. and Alec Tomas is getting back into this match. Tomas is fired up. Look at this. Big time clothesline. Oh, One and more. Alec Tomas ducks the clothesline. Roll up. One, two. two. Only a two count. Goes oh. back around. He goes on, look at this. The power. Oh! oh! And he got all of it. But he, he can't capitalize. He's been through too much. Look at this. Goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, and only a two count. Wexer, I think if he would have gotten the cover right off the bat, he might have been coming out with the win, but he couldn't capitalize. Absolutely. If he had that split second more, that could have been it right there. And that could have been a huge upset here in his MPW debut. And now Alec Tomas trying to find everything in his will and power to get back in. Oh! Oh, look at this, fighting right back. Big rights, big lefts. Huge lefts to the head, forearm to the corner. Up and over goes Tomas, he got cut. Oh my God! Don't tell me! Ah! slam! That has to be it, cover. One, two. Ooh, and again, only a two counts as Victor Quintus. Look at this, Che Cabrera can't believe it, and uh, to be perfectly honest, neither can I. That could have taken out any other competitor for, for Alec Tomas. Okay. He got out of two. Man, this is an exciting match where you can find here at MPW every Friday night here at 19801 Nordoff Place in Chatsworth, California. The only show, show that is here every single Friday night in all of Southern yeah. California. Yeah. And look at this. Talk about exciting. I don't know what's getting set up for here. Oh, no. This does not look good. On the top rope. There's beams up there, Pinky. These guys going up to the high rent district. Oh, but Alec fighting it off. He is using every will and power to get back. Oh, gets him off. And look at this. He's not done. Alec setting up for something big. Oh, big boot right to the face. And he jumps off. Cutter from the second rope. Cover him, Alec. One, two. Oh. Ooh, and again, only a two count says Victor Quintes. That could have been it right there, Pinky Santino. He had the cutter. He had the two count, but almost three. Almost three. And the crowd giving the respect to Alec Tomas. Again, in his MPW debut here, Pinky. Oh, look at him. Double hook. Possibly going for a Tiger driver. But look at this. Oh, Chicken Bear going for a third. Oh! Big time meaty shoulder block. And, and the straps come down. This does not look good. Jacob Brera. And here it comes. Oh! Big time jackhammer. Cover. One, two, and this one's over. Hey, man, you can't just keep showing up here like you have something to do. Here. Dear MPW, we, we at the, the Wrestling, Wrestling Commission, Commission 
of America do declare that the match that partook between Kevin, the camera guy, and Jason, Showtime Levi, <clears throat> at the MPW Anniversary Spectacular doesn't count on the simple basis <clears throat> that Alejandro Mauricio Fernandez is a fake referee. Jason is still undefeated. Effective immediately. Signed, Wrestling, Wrestling Commissioner. commissioner? Come on, man. It's, what, what is that? Undefeated, 4-0, Jason Showtime, Levi. Fans, ringside, welcome back. Here we go. While our referee Sinclair gains control of the ring, gives our wrestlers their final instructions, let's make this official. Highly anticipated match. Here we go. Introducing the challenger from Chatsworth, California, weighing 170 pounds, the handsome devil, Diego Valens. The former champion as of only one week ago. Say it again. No, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, he is your reigning MPW <laughs> National <laughs> Champion. Yeah, but how did he get that title? And a little By belly. being a wonderful competitor. Wing like 182 huh. pounds. Ray. Rosa! Yeah! Well, there he is. Like it or not, the MPW national champion, Ray love Rosas. It. Love it. You can't help but love it. It's Ray Rosas. You can't help but love it. Yep. That's your opinion. And right now, as you see, gas station dinosaur, I mean referee Sinclair, holding up the belt right there. I get him confused all the time. I'm sorry. Oh, God. And right now, you see uh, Diego Valence. Now, this is a well. This is an understatement, a well-deserved rematch for that belt. And Diego Valens starts off with a bang. I mean, well-deserved. You normally always get a rematch clause, but look it at that. It could be right here. Oh, oh the oh DVD. My, oh, my goodness. Diego Valens up in oh the Oh, my fire. goodness. Does he want this belt back or what? Absolutely. By the way, Chris Claus, Brian Carter, ringside for this. Semi main event! Oh! Ray trying to piece out of there. Semi main event action, folks. MPW's come to together. Is that Diego Valens, the former national champion, lost it last week, but it wasn't due to his own volition. Actually, Eddie Rose laid down for Ray Rosa, granting him the national title. I saw what happened. I yes. saw what happened. Look, Look at this now. Look Did at you see clothesline. what happened just there? Ray Rosas is in big time trouble, Carter. Diego is being very aggressive. And normally, I like seeing aggression. You could see the ire in his face. Yeah, but an angry opponent's going to make more mistakes than a calm one. And I feel like he's letting his emotions get the best of him. It could be the case as well. But at the same time, Ray Rosas has got to be scared out of his mind. Not only for physical harm, but for his title. That's and the first bit of offense we've seen from Ray. And that's what you call desperation right there. Yeah. Reversal oh. though, not for long. Ray Rosas into that steel security railing. Almost sending him into the MPW oh. faithful. Oh, and they are out tonight in droves. Oh my goodness. That chop went right through the champion. Challenger Diego Valens on the hunt, on the prowl right now. And he's hunting for what he believes is rightfully is the national title of Millennium Pro Wrestling. Oh, oh, super kick caught him right on the chin. And that right there, Carter, that is experience coming into play. I will hand it to Ray Rosas, a crafty veteran in there to say the least. Yeah. That's why he's national champion. Oh my goodness. And that could knock One, out. One, two. I don't know how, but Diego Valens somehow got the shoulder up, kicked out, and this semi-main event for the national title continues absolutely and ray rosas finally getting offense back in finally getting control back into this match and showing why he's national champion you respect me like you would respect this great nation yes the nation of ray the nation the nation of ray what yeah 
does that even mean? He's got Diego yeah. Claus. Oh! Oh, big chop. Returning the favor, Claus. Big chop from champion to challenger on the near side. Let's and now this is champion in control. Yes. Having his way. Having some fun in there. Scoop up and a slam. Say it again, champion versus oh. challenger. Look at that. Salute the nation of Ray. Another kick out from Diego Valens. Diego Valens in trouble, but don't think for a second he is not still determined in this matchup for the title. I mean, I'm determined to date a supermodel, but I'm not doing that yet. What? So, but yeah. Keep We're dreaming. Listening. What? Anyway. That stupid hat you wear all the time? Wow. You wish you had my swag. Please. Wait a minute, Big. Oh. Put on the brakes and move down to the way. And Rosas suffering oh. the damage. One, two, reverse high cross body. No, still not enough. That springboard cross body was very effective, but no cigar. Look at that. Here Eagle balance. Ones. Still on a tear right here, Carter. Springboard again. again. Second time. New no. Champ. No, 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 no new champ here, Klaus. Well, if he does gain the title, it'll be one of the shortest reigns in MPW history. Because yeah. remember, one, like we said before at the outside of the match, no. Diego Valens was champion one week ago tonight. Yes, that's true. But mind you, Ray has held every title yeah. there is to hold here in MPW. He's a veteran of SoCal. He knows what it takes to be champion. He's not going to let someone like Diego upstart, uproot all of that. Well, at the same time, Diego Balance is not going to let somebody get away with the actions of Ray Rosas and Eddie Rohr from last week when he lost the title. So this match, with that said, is an absolute pick -em. Reversal. Challenger, no, champion holding on. Oh, big back elbow. Wait a minute. Blue Thunderbomb from Diego. Only a two count, 2.5. Another near fall right there. Title implications on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Gloss, Brian Carter, ringside, MPW's come to together. Brought to you by youtube.com forward slash Millennium Pro Wrestling. This channel, fans, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video where we broadcast events recorded live every Friday night, 7.30 p.m., 19801 Nordop Place, Chatsworth, California. And that blue thunder bomb earlier definitely winded Ray, causing him to say, hey, stop. But now Diego's back in control after that snap suplex from earlier. And, and you can see that fire in the eyes of the handsome devil, Diego Valens. And right now, he may as well be bringing Ray Rosas down to the pits of hell because he wants this and he'll do anything for it after what happened. Through. Ray saying he lifted a burden from Diego by taking the title. Oh, are you kidding me? He just said it, and I agree. I mean, there's a lot what of weight that comes with the champion. narcissistic, Klaus, arrogant. I, that's exactly what that is. Klaus, I know you don't know what it's like being with a champion. Mind you, Please. long time ago, I was the manager of Diego, no, no, and he no, no. was you're champion. Not gonna, you're not going to spout off your resume right now during I, the semi-main event. I'm saying I've been around champions. Oh, I know please. the weight and the toll it takes on them. Okay? And if, and if Ray no, can handle that weight. Diego, not so much. Really? Really? And, we, oh. and if we don't believe that about you, just ask you and you'll tell us? Oh, absolutely. I'm no. an expert yeah, right. kind of thing. You could gain a lot of knowledge by talking oh to me. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I'm surprised Mike Wesley hasn't invited me on. You know, I've already ate, I already ate lunch today. I, don't, I, I want to keep it in me. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be rooting for Diego because that's going to make you sick anytime. Speaking of Diego, back to his oh! feet. Oh, no, he got back to his feet too soon. Ray Rosa is taking advantage again. The crafty veteran being able to read his opponent. Ray and doesn't now. ever wrestle the same well, what way is twice. It? What in the uh -huh. world? You're not going to call that narcissistic, cocky, and arrogant? They should build a statue of that. That's oh the nation of goodness. Ray. A statue. Absolutely. I'm not going to build a statue for him. They should. With Diego being mean, the They game. should. No. For what? No. For being the greatest national champion we've seen in oh a long time. Oh, my goodness. You are full of it this week, and that's saying a lot. I'm full of love of this business and love of a proper champion. Trying to wear down the challenger now. Ray Rosas, got him, he's got him right in the center of the ring. Again, crafty veteran fundamentals coming into play. But Diego Valens, the challenger, getting to his feet. Elbows to the midsection, fighting out of sheer will. And oh, wait a minute, oh, oh my goodness. 
Face first. That was like a Samoan drop. Yeah, inverted. Oh face first Samoan drop. Absolutely. Like I Samoan said, Ray, face buster. Might be nice. Ray never wrestles the same way twice. Like I said, he's always pulling out innovative moves and stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Are we getting a Ray Rose? Is he singing? Song? He's singing. The song of the nation, the national anthem, oh. if you will. Oh, it really is crying red, white, and blue now. Is that what's going on? Oh, uh, red, white, right, and Ray. Ray, white, and blue? Yeah. Ray, white, I thought you'd blue. like that one. Yeah. Stomping a, on the fingers. Look at this. On the fingers. Oh. But still, Diego Valens somehow fighting back. I will say this. If Look at these two back and forth. Ray should be trying to take out the feet and the legs because of that devil's tail. Uh oh, wait a minute now. From pillar to post to the near side. Ray Ro no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rosas Enzi. caught him. Little Enzi. Oh, no. Back and forth. And now it's Diego Ballinger. Oh. Running, shooting star. One, One two. two. Oh, almost a new champion. Nah, nah, and I nah, thought nah. he had him right there, Carter. No, no, no. Not against my Ray. No, no, no. Oh, what a match we're seeing. What a classic. And again, what? the implications. The MPW national title. Both men down though, trying to find the gas to, to even stand at this point. Oh, you're not talking about the referee, the gas gas station dinosaur. No, wait a minute. Again, that's not gas station dinosaur Sinclair. It's referee Sinclair. I always get him confused. Sinclair, I just wanted to be known. I'm not the one disrespecting you. I'm not yet. trying. I just get him confused. I'm sorry. He's doing his best. Look at him. Sure he is. Pump, pump number seven, is that what he's... No, no, no. Oh. Wait a minute now. Oh, Rosa stands his ground. Haymakers, back and forth, these two. Oh, back elbow spinning this time. Back elbow. And now both men still on their feet. I don't know how big they From the challenger. Oh, my goodness. Ray Rosas, what is oh. his off super kick? What are we seeing here? Oh, wait a minute. He's getting ready for something. What the? Oh, look at the agility. Diego Go Valens. Red. One, two, new champion. Oh. What? What? Was that two or was that three? That was two in Ray We Trust. There we go. Oh, was that close? Diego Valens thought he regained the title. So did I. So did the MPW faithful. But again, this title match continues. Thankfully, yes. Oh, was that close? Diego trying to put Hell away the... Hell. No! Oh! Look oh. at that! Smart! Ray Rosas, he read that devil's tail, Carter. Caught it! Caught it with his body. No, 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 no. He knew it was coming. And now he's doing... Oh, wait a minute. Feet on the rope. Oh, Diego Valens with Challenger. Lucky for him, he got that bottom rope. Ultimately breaking the hold. How... Quick witted is Ray catching the devil's tail with his body and then dragging Diego down to the floor. Dude, so smart. Grabbing you know, the devil's tail the and dragging education. him down to the <laughs> to the. We lead the world in sexy Ray Rosas. Are you really you're really loving this, aren't you, Carter? I what did he pay you a compliment? You, you what, what? You can't get enough of it. Nah, he doesn't have to pay me. Ray gets it for free. Oh, wait oh, a really? Minute. You guys are made for each other. Oh, oh, bicycle kick from Diego. Right between the eyes. Oh, and now, devil's tail. devil's tail on the apron. And Ray Rosas goes crashing down to the floor. Ray, no. Ray Rosas right in front of us. Wait lifeless. A Wait a minute. Ray, stay out there. He can't win. Uh, Stop it. it. I'm just saying. Quiet. I'm advising you. Carter, quiet, please. Just advise. I'm reminding oh, him of the rules. You're not the manager right now. It's not your duty. I'm not managing. I'm reminding Stop him. Stop it. Diego. Right now, Diego Valens. Coming over, picking the champion up because he knows Carter. He knows he can't win the title on the outside of the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, wait, wait just a minute. A minute. It's wait. baby, I mean, it's Eddie Roar. Wait a minute. What the hell is he doing out here? We saw him earlier in the opening contest. I approve. No, not like this. Best friend. Get this, hey, dinosaur, get this guy out of here. Back in the ring. Oh! No! Damn it, no! Did you see that? That sheet metal! I saw that the ref's fly Referee's was back was turned! Oh, look, Ray! No! No! Oh! Not like this! Adios, amigo, and Ray retrust!
One, One two, three! No! The Nation of Ray has its leader still. What a ripoff! You see, there's only one man in this entire world that could bear the burden of being the champion of the greatest nation, and that's Ray Rosas. Ray Rosas, the man who finally liberated this championship from Diego Valens. Ray Rosas, who accepted the sacrifice of Eddie Rohr, just like those millions of soldiers all over the world that sacrificed for our freedom. Our freedom for us to enjoy Ray Rosas. But we can't just stop here. We gotta keep going. You see, Ray Rosas is the man of opportunity. Which means that Ray Rosas is gonna allow anybody, anybody, to challenge for this championship. So are you ready to join the Republican Party? Are you ready to pledge your allegiance to Ray Rosas? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of MPW Presents Come Together. Mike Wexler here having the honor of calling this tag team match with the legendary P GM of MPW, Pinky Santino. And history is being made once again here, Pinky Santino. Mike Wexler, I think the big story is, it is the return of Fulton! After being on long hiatus, the team is back and the MPW faithful having their welcome to full send. Dustin Jack Daniels, Busio taking on, again, critically acclaimed, best tag, one of the best tag teams in SoCal in the Brothers Devon. Almost definitely. Hey, these guys have been, have been tag teaming since the sandbox, but it looks like they're having a little bit of, uh, of differences right now. Butting heads on the fact that Brandon Devine gave Busio a handshake. Yeah, I mean, a little sportsmanship didn't hurt anybody, and I guess Danny Devine doesn't agree with that, but regardless, Pinky, when I mentioned about history, Dustin Daniels and Busio have defeated the Brothers Devine two times in a row since their two last meetings, and now maybe they're trying to go for 3 0 here tonight. Yeah, and you might have a point there, but you got to remember. A long time since Busio's back to the back of that ring. Right now, he's not showing any signs of ring rust, but he's in there with the former champion, and look at that. <laughs> the power of the former world champion, Danny Devine. Oh, wait a minute. Sunset Flip goes for the takeover, but look at Ooh. Oh, Busio gets out of the way, and he pushed the mat. The former national champion. Wow! <laughs> Huge Herc and Rana to the corner. Monkey flip right there. Oh, and a huge drop kick. Maybe the best drop kick of the night. Yep. I don't think Diego Valens threw one, so that might have to be the best one tonight. Absolutely. The king of the beach, Busio, in control, but wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, my God. The aggressiveness of Danny Devine now tagging in the ace of MPW, Brendan Devine. Off the ropes. Oh. Double elbows cover, but only a two count right here. And again, when you talked about it, Pinky Santino, at the beginning, a little bit of miscommunication between the Brothers Divine, but is this the same Brothers Divine we've seen in the past? Oh, well, we're to be seen. We'll, we'll find out, but look at this. Here comes a new MPW champion. Oh, wheelbarrow. Oh! Classic, full send moves, one. Only a one count. And again, as you had stated before, Pinky Santino, we are getting a first look at the new MPW champion in Dustin Jack Daniels, and the crowd is loving it right now. Ducks it. Ooh, kicks to the face right there. Maybe lost him with a few little teeth. Drop down, and... Oh! a slam by Dustin Jack Daniels. And definitely hitting those weights in the gym. Cover. Only in two counts of Victor Quintus. Yeah. And again, both these teams have a lot to prove here tonight. We had talked about it on the Instagram Live where you can follow us at Instagram at MPW slash underscore, excuse me, CA, where Danny Vine said he needed this win. He needs this win tonight. Oh! 
and so does his brother, Brendan Devine. And now here comes Danny Devine again, the former world champion, after a classic match against Dustin Daniels. Oh! Big time flatliner, and he got all of it. The athleticism of Dustin Daniels shown right there. And here comes Busio, the king of the beach. Oh, what's this right here, Pinky? Wait a minute. He just slingshot shot on his own partner. Oh! oh Danny Day. Beautiful tag team chemistry. Here comes Brendan Devine. Wait a minute. Oh! Dropped him into a big gut buster. And look at this against to the outside. Oh, wait. Are we in a safe position, Peaky? I think we're kind of. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh! Let's go, Full sand in control here in your main event of MPW Come Together. And now the MPW faithful getting behind the reuniting of Full Sand here tonight, Pinky Santino. Almost oh, definitely, and in, in goes Danny Devine. Followed by Busio. Oh, big time chop by Busio. Definitely heard it around the world. Oh, shoulder block to the corner. Flying in like a long dart. Oh, back elbow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Brendan Devine taking his brother out of the equation. And here comes again, the ace of MPW. Oh, sent on to the back. Cover. Again, only a two count says Victor Quintes. And again, this, in a sense, Peaky Sands, you know, this is a rematch from the anniversary show between Brendan Devine and Busio. Brendan Devine trying to get maybe an upper hand here in this match. Yeah, if you think about it, it's a double rematch because... Oh, in the main event, it was Danny versus versus the new MPW champion, uh, Dustin, Dustin Jack Daniels. No. Oh, double suplex by the brothers Divine. Cover by Danny. Again, only in two counts as Victor Quintus. And again, both of these teams know each other oh so well. And Danny Devine taking out the current MPW champion out. And now the aggressiveness. Oh he's just strangling, he's strangling Brucio. Wait a minute, but Brendan Devine being the voice of reason here. Come on, how are you doing? Relax. Wait a minute. Stopping his brother from strangling Brucio. I, I mean, it, I don't think it's too much to ask for someone not to get strangled. Yeah, and I get the frustration of Danny Devine after losing the MPW Championship. Oh! Huge hit to Gary by Busio, though. To the corner. Ducks it. Oh, oh no. Yeah. 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 Lands on his feet. Yeah. Up and over, lands on his feet one more time. Oh! oh. oh. like a cat. He doesn't no, land on, on his feet only when he wants to. And now Busio has the opportunity to tag in a hot Dustin Jack Daniels into this match. Dustin. Oh! But gets thrown out by Danny Devine. And Brandon Devine kicks to the midsection. Oh! My God. One, two. Only a two count as Busio kicks out. And Danny Devine is losing his mind on the outside. He can't believe it. The frustration to Danny Devine. Again, less than a, I mean, actually a week to this day from competing for the MPW Championship and losing that title to Dustin Jack Daniels. I mean, he's trying to look for a win here, Pinky. Almost definitely. But, oh, big shot right to the breadbasket. And again, and in comes the former MPW champion. And now showing the aggression. Oh, my God. God. Dustin Daniels telling Busio to come on, but. No, 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 no. Oh, choke slam. My God. And Busio just got turned inside out with that choke slam. Cover. But again, Busio has the power to kick out there. And again, after last week, Busio went to war with Che Cabrera, and he endured some punishment in that match as well, as, as well as tonight. Well, well, talking about Che enduring punishment, actually last week, he went one-on-one -on -one with Brendan Devine, and talk about punishment he endured. Come on, Busio, let's go! And it looks like it ain't getting any easier for him. Absolutely. Why don't you worry about you, let me worry about me. I'm worried about us! Let's go! 
Oh! And now the ball is divine arguing back and forth. But oh! Busio taking that opportunity, but look at this gets cut right back down. Oh no. By Divine. No, no, no. Oh. It's the kick. Oh my god! Oh! on the ring apron! But look at this, he's not done! Big shoulder block to the midsection! And then look at this, he's going to the top rope! And, oh no! Went for one more choke slam, is that Divine? Oh, the athleticism of Fusio! Super kick to the face! Takes out both men, Pinky. What a main event here in MPW. Oh, most definitely. Remember, fans, you can watch main events like this every Friday night here at 19801 Nordoff Place in Chatsworth, California. Hear the energy here in the MPW arena. Oh, yeah, folks. And if you want to join this energy, this is the only show that is here every single Friday night in all of Southern California. And if you can't be there, be there here, please join us. On MPW on YouTube.com. And look at this. Oh, the champion is in. Big rules on big back double. He comes for the fun. He touched the goal line. Send the up to the corner. And here, here he comes. Toss over to the apron. Big shot right to the midsection. Oh, we he see comes this. over. And big oh. yeah. The champion is on fire. Dustin Daniels bringing in a new era here in MPW. Oh! Cover. Only a two count right there, says Victor Quentes. And again, all respects to Dustin Jack Daniels here, Pinky Santino. He's bringing the fire. He is bringing the energy. And again, as he stated after last week's match. Wait, look at this, look at this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute, full Nelson position. That has to be it. It's over. One, two. Oh, oh my what? God. What? How did he kick out of that? I have no idea. The brothers divine have won multiple tag team champions with that very move. Come on. Multiple tag team championship victories. Multiple tag team victories as well. And now tagging in again. The ace of MPW, Brendan Devine. Who's taking on the world champion. Maybe looking for a left on red here. Oh, but the power of Dustin Jack Daniels, the world champion. Oh, wait, reversal after reversal. Oh, look at that. Did you see Busso made the tag? Oh, oh big time pulls on and then comes Busso. Oh, big time super kick. This is Full Sense moment, just like old times. Danny Brennan Devine. Irish whips to the corner, reverses. Oh! Talk about a headbanger. Yeah, a little bit of a double knocking yeah. knock by Brennan Devine. Oh! oh. Big time European uppercut on to Busio. He whips Busio out to his own partner. But look at this up and over. He lands on the screen. Oh! Big boot right to the face of Brennan Devine. And look at this. Oh, we see this in the past. Oh! They got all of it. Busio in the round. One, two. Oh! oh. But Danny Devine saved this match. He was inches away, and he finally had the chance to get back and stay in this match. Now, Dustin Daniels. Oh, my God. Big time Cactus Clothesline takes the, the champion and both the former champion to the outside. Busio and, and Brennan Devine are the two left in the ring. And now Busio, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the ace of MPW. Show him how we do Oh, oh, oh the champion got oh. head first. And look at this. Oh, forearm. Oh, and a big boot. And the brothers divine. See you later, boy. Oh, oh this is over. Cover. One, two. Oh, my God. Kicks out. He kicked out at a count of two. How in the world did Busio have the power to kick out of that pinky? I, I think it's a, it's a thing where, where Busio. Just made amends with, with his former tag team partner, and he is refusing to fail him. He will not stay down. Busio will not say die. Busio will not say die, and he will never give up. And wait a minute. Danny's asking for the tag here and gets it. This does not look good for Busio. Oh, looking for it again, Pinky. 
Oh, wait a oh, minute. Look at this. Oh! oh Karana, take over. Ducks the clothesline. Big kick to Mitsu. Oh! He got all the stunner. And now full send from its origin to now. Looking to finish this match. And now, what is this, Pinky? Look at this. Ben would buy stop him one more time. Oh. Wait a minute. He just no. Super kicked his brother. And Dustin. Oh. He spiked him. He spiked him, and here comes Busio. Busio got to get high. Oh. Cover him, Busio. Cover. One, two, three. Bulls and picks up the win. Well, Max, Wexler, I gotta say, it's good to see Full Send back in full effect here at MPW. I think that's gonna do it for us here uh, as the brothers Divine go ahead and collect themselves. And, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Well, these two are brothers, they don't fight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm sorry, Molly. Well, Disappoints are not as it is. Oh, what? Wait, what? Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 what? Shut up. Whoa. Let's just carry your freaking weight. I brought you into wrestling and you. Dragging me down ever since. I thought Dustin was holding me back. It's been you. Carry you, right? Yeah. Just because you worked out a bunch, you got a bunch of muscles, doesn't mean you're going to save me because of what I did for you. What are you talking about? You want to fight me, buddy? Is that what you want? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here? At our place, you're going to do this here? In our place? See them? Come on. Wait a minute. What are you doing? For what? What are you doing? Is that, is that that title more important than me and you? Yeah. Huh? Answer me. Whoa. 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 Hey guys, calm down. I'm sorry. What is going on, Piggy? I'm sorry. You scared now? Okay. Looks looks like they they, they found reason. Hey, wait, wait, wait! Look at me. Look at me. What are you doing? Huh? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Alrighty, brothers. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it all for us here. Uh, these guys exploding out here. Come on, man. Relax, there's nothing going on. Come back next week. Come back next week. Come back next week. Full send is back and better than ever. And even though I had a blast tonight, I got to look to the future now. Because next week, I have my very first championship defense. And it's a man I know very well. The new number one contender, Robin Shaw. Let me give you all a little, hi little history lesson real quick. Shaw's been there since the very first day I've stepped in this ring. He's seen me progress, he's seen me grow, he's seen me become jacked. He's beaten me, I've beaten him, but this time, there's a lot more at stake. So best believe, this week, I'm gonna be hitting heavyweights, eating all them steaks, and best believe, I'm not leaving without this championship next week. So Robin Shaw, you better give it all you got, because I'm giving everything I got, plus some more. See you next week.